Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to prime an oil filter, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing to know is what is priming an oil filter, and when people mention that, what they're talking about. What they're talking about is pre-filling the filter with oil and then lubricating this gasket before you screw it in. Now keep in mind, that's only even doable if you have a vertically mounted oil filter. If you've got a side mounted one, it, it doesn't make any sense because you're going to spill the oil back out. So you want to make sure that it's a, a vertical application where it screws straight up because then you can fill it. You can go ahead and get it all primed and lubricated, and then you can screw it right into place without any issues. So that's what we're going to do in this video. And the reason why a lot of people recommend it, and I have to admit, I don't always do that, but some people say it's needed, some say it doesn't. The manufacturers don't recommend it anywhere. Um, the reason where it comes into play is that obviously there's no oil in here, so that little bit of time where the engine is running without oil in it obviously does take its toll on your engine and cause can cause problems. That's why people recommend doing it. So let me show you how to do it, and then that'll wrap up this video. So we have our filter here, and you have the opening. We're gonna go ahead and fill that with oil, and then we're gonna just take our finger and just lubricate this gasket, and then we'll go ahead and, and insert this in. So we're gonna gently pour this in. You wanna go slow, because you don't want it spilling out. There we go, that's full. And then now what I'm going to do, put just a little bit extra here, let it sink in. Because as you fill it and it works its way into the filter, it'll go down a little bit as it just did. Let that work its way in. Because you wanna fill this whole filter. And you'll see it's starting to go down as it enters it. Because normally if you didn't do that, the car would be running and it's doing that while the engine is running. And that's the, the issue that, that people have is that the engine is not being lubricated during that dry time in there. So that's the reason why we do this. Now I'm just going to take my finger here. We're going to go ahead, just lubricate this gasket. Looking underneath this car, you can see right there, there's the oil filter stud right there. That's where it's going to screw onto. And as we already talked about, see, this is a vertical installation. So it just goes straight up, which is why this method works. So let me grab the oil filter and we will go ahead and screw it in. Now, one thing you do want to keep in mind is as you're looking there where the connection point is for the filter, you want to make sure that there's no debris left over from your, your last oil filter. Sometimes the gasket can be left behind and you can have a real problem. So it's always a good idea when you do your oil change, as you can see here, make sure it's all nice and clean, wipe it off real good before you put the new one on. Screw it on gently, make sure that it's on the threads. And then we're gonna go ahead and take it all the way up and you wanna just hand tighten it. So once it gets tight like it is now, we're gonna hand tighten it one turn all around, one complete turn because you don't want this thing to be stuck and hard to get off. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video on how to prime or prep your oil filter before you uh, put it in when you're changing your oil. Please send me any questions or comments you may have. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all your support. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.